I promise you that I'm not a salesman, and I'm not trying to collect for anybody. Mrs. Carter said you'd be interested in the information I have. Oh, Flossie sent you. Oh, well, in that case, please come in. But my son and I are on our way out. Oh, on your way to the community center? Yes. How did you know? I don't recognize you from the neighborhood. Oh, no, no. I, I live across the river. But the people I represent are very interested in the Angel Square area. Oh, interested in helping us fix it up? No. Interested in buying some property here. And your house is on the list. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, now, there's nothing to be upset about. You do like the neighborhood, don't you? Oh, yes. Well, once they acquire these pieces of property, Angel Square will be one of the nicest places in the world. Mm. But if they throw us out of our houses, how will that benefit me and my son? No one is going to be thrown out. And believe me, the price they're offering is more than fair. And you'll be given help in trying to find a new home. ¿Quién es este hombre, Omar? ¿Por qué no dejan entrar la casa? Well, hello there. You must be Christian. How do you know my name? What are you doing here? Well, Christian, I heard about you from Mrs. Carter, the lady that lives right next door to the community center. Well, she told me you were your mother's pride and joy. <laughs> I can certainly see why. Did Mrs. Carter say she was willing to sell her house? Is that why he's here? He's trying to buy her house? Okay, okay, see. Well, now, Mrs. Carter and I only talked a little. Mostly about how much the neighborhood is changing. So much violence and the gangs moving in. Well, everyone in our community has gotten together and decided that we're going to work together to keep the gangs out. Who are you? Well, I admire that. I really do. But, of course, I'm sure the Velasquez family was hoping everything would turn out okay, too. And, well, their Eddie got in trouble with a gang, got shot. But, Christian, you and Eddie are pals, aren't you? So? My son has nothing to do with any gangs. Oh, I should hope not. But we wouldn't want Christian to end up like Eddie now, would we? I mean, or even worse. Hey. Look, the last thing Mom's gonna do is sell this house, okay? So why don't you just take off? Yo creo que él está yendo a los vecinos y tratando de meterle miedo para que todos vendan sus casas. No te apures. Yo arreglo este canalla. Oh, now, please, Mrs. Vega. I'm not here to scare anybody. And Chris, calling me scums, really uncalled for. Yo hablo español, pero prefiero el inglés mejor. <laughs> now, as I said, the people I work for are offering a very good price, Mrs. Vega. No me interesa. But I'm sure you'll think about it. <laughs> the neighborhood is going down, Mrs. Vega. So will the price if you wait too long. Here's my card. Feel free to call any time. Hmm? Didn't you hear what she said? She's not interested. So why don't you just take off? You, know, you come around here again and try to scare my mom, and you're gonna answer to me. You understand me? Yes, it's nice meeting both of you. Why did you yell at him like that? Don't ever let him in the house again. He's just a real estate agent. Bull. I know his type. He gets off on pushing people around. But we're not going to let him. And I'm saying you don't provoke someone without reason. Ma, you said it yourself. I mean, the guy's going around trying to scare people into selling. And I don't want anybody scaring my mom, okay? Look, look. R.J. Gannon. Probably not even his real name. I mean, the guy was scum. And you were surprised, weren't you, when you found out he spoke Spanish and understood exactly what you called him? Probably learned his Spanish in prison. All the more reason to stay away and not provoke him. What? You think he scares me? I don't care if he scares you or not. You're my son. You're my only... Christian, please. You are the man of the house. After your father died and your... I just don't want anything to happen to you, okay? 
And it's dangerous to provoke a man like Mr. Gannon. No. See? That's where you're wrong. It's dangerous to let a guy like that think that he can push you around. And trust me, we're not gonna let him. Hey there, Alex. You did not call me back after we got cut off. Asa caught me with the list of the property owners from Angel Square. Uh-oh. I didn't want him to know that I was talking to you. Gotcha. So, the old man still doesn't like the idea of you tearing down Angel Square to build your art center, huh? Well, he just has no real concept of the benefit that it would be to build the art center here in Landview. But if he thinks he's going to bully me into giving up, he's got a lot to learn, doesn't he? Well, if Asa doesn't sign the checks, well, you're going to have a hard time buying property, Alex. No. I just sold my penthouse, remember? So with all that cash, I think I should be able to snap up a few of those little miserable little houses, and he'll never even know anything about it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe what? You think he might find out? No. I think this whole thing is going to be a lot harder than you thought and a lot more expensive. See, I spoke with Carlotta Vega tonight. Yes, her name was on the list. Oh, my gut says she's gonna be the toughest nut to crack, and a lot of people listen to her. Good, then you convince her to sell, and the other people will follow suit. What do you mean, convince her? Are you telling me to do whatever I have to do? I want you to do whatever you have to do, within reason. Meaning stick to words. For now. But if you explain it properly, the people will probably decide that they want to sell. Especially since things have just gotten so violent in that area recently. <sighs> Gotta admire you, Alex. Even with Asa against you, you're still moving ahead. I usually get what I want. He'll learn that sooner or later. Oh, I learned that a long time ago. I know. It's nice to be understood by somebody. So long. See you. You didn't make a pass at me today. No. No, I didn't. I'm gonna walk you over to the community center. I knew you'd come. I just wanna make sure you get there safe. But then you could stay and help us clean up. No, no, come on. Why not? We need strong men with muscles and brains. Men who are willing to confront these gangs who know what really is important. Hey, look, Ma. I mean, not all gangs are like the arrows, okay? And not everyone who's in a gang is necessarily a loser. In my eyes, they are. Well, maybe you, you need to think about that some more, you know? I mean, sometimes you, you, you need your buddies when, when someone's dissing you or, or moving in or trying to take you home. Listen to that. Ma, nobody out there is strong enough to be on their own. I know. That's why you're going to come to the community center and help us clean up. Strength in numbers. <laughs> <laughs>